So LNG and clean energy go hand in hand because the more LNG we have, the less coal we need. And so that switch is a very important one, and that's what's mainly being discussed here. How do we make sure the market is supplied enough? So there needs to be a lot more infrastructure. We're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars of new infrastructure. The question is, we also know that by 2050, there has to be a zero carbon solution. And so a lot of investors are reluctant to put the money in the infrastructure if it could last 50 years, but it will only actually last 20 years if, if, if that, that's the cutoff date we have. But does it feel then that LNG, as the transition fuel, inevitably will have to stretch beyond that 2050 uh, net zero target? So the job is to how do we decarbonize LNG? How do we make the infrastructure investments and make sure that we don't have to suddenly rot, uh, write off those investments and yes. transition this uh, infrastructure into the new energy world? So we need to decarbonize in a way that uses the existing and the to, build, to be built infrastructure. Otherwise, we have a big gap in the middle, yes. and that's clearly not going to work because lights have to stay on. Let's talk about green hydrogen, green ammonia is a big part of the conversation here. There is There, there are breakout forums happening here at GasTech. Renewable fuels of the future, the challenge is to green the production process itself. Tell us how Willemshaven, the hydrogen hub in Germany, could be a game changer in terms of moving forward towards a hydrogen economy. So we are building uh, the biggest uh, regasifier in Europe in Willemshaven. It's a beautiful port. It has deep sea access, no need to dredge, no traffic. Uh, so it will be a beautiful LNG terminal. But we're actually also building an energy park behind it because what we are doing is converting hydrogen into LNG. So this terminal will start by importing normal LNG. We have a cutoff date in 2045 where all the LNG imported has to be green. And so the real question is, as we start in 2026, 27, how, do, how quickly can we convert to 100% green? Uh, I've, um, uh, we, we created this concept of ENG, which is about creating creating synthetic, renewable LNG. So instead of taking it from underground, we make LNG from solar and wind. We think this is a solution because it addresses climate change in a way that it solves the energy transition for billions of people in a very cost-effective way because over time, the synthetic, renewable ENG will cost less than conventional fossil LNG. And it sounds very, uh, a very exciting technology. Just uh, tell us more about the ENG conversion process process in terms of the cost curve, how competitive is it at this stage, and what's the potential to scale this technology, Marco? So I want to stress this is not a technology, this is a process, because we're using technologies from 100 years ago, because electrolyzers are very old technologies, and what we need to make this renewable methane is called Sabatier. Paul Sabatier won a Nobel Chemistry Prize in 1912. So we're not talking about a technology, we're talking about a process. So what you normally do until now, we've tried to turn fossil methane, which is CH4 into hydrogen by separating the carbon and the hydrogen from CH4. What we need to do is reverse that process. So take the hydrogen from solar and wind and water, that's the easy part, and that we can talk about how to scale it down. If we add CO2 to the hydrogen, instead of storing the CO2 underground with carbon capture and storage, we use the carbon in a circular way. So we attach the carbon to the hydrogen. At that point, we have completely renewable methane. And so we don't need to change any infrastructure. We can go ahead to propel this LNG industry that, that is such a big part of the transition. And then we can accelerate the switching from fossil LNG to renewable LNG. And it will be seamless. Customers won't notice. We can get renewable solar and wind energy into everyone's home without people having to change anything. 